Hello, I'm Rob James Collier and I play Thomas. Tell me a bit more about Thomas's storyline. So we saw in the last episode that he started to rebuild a friendship with Jimmy. Where does that go? Do they continue to be friends? Yeah, um, uh, Thomas uh, and, and Jimmy are very much friends, but it, it's kind of everything's left unsaid. And they are friends, but there's still there's, there's kind of a, a distance. They can never be close, not after, particularly not after Thomas sleep kissed him. Um, but you know, there's still a friendship there, and, and there's an understanding now. But Jimmy's up to his own little shenanigans, um, bit of a playboy in this series, if I may say. So he's off doing his thing, and, and Thomas, meanwhile, is busy recruit, recruiting applicants um, for the post of evil twin because Miss O'Brien's fled the coop. So um, yeah, we, we, he, needs to, he needs another partner in crime and, and that's what a lot of this series is about. And how does he feel when O'Brien leaves? Does he feel quite lost with her? Uh, I, think he's, um, I think he's relieved because she was the one who you know, led him to his downfall at the end of series three when he was outed and you know, his sexuality was discovered for the first time and it almost ruined him. And you know, I think we saw a genuine fear and a realisation in Thomas is that O'Brien, she's not to be crossed and she was far superior intellectually. So I think it's a relief when she's gone. He's not, he's not sad, do you know what I mean? I think he's quite triumphant because it means he's left to rule the roost. He's the daddy, as Ray Winston would say. We saw a slightly nicer side of Thomas coming out, is that...? Slightly nicer, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> but he's lovely. Is that going to continue or no. will he...? As I said, he's, 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 he's um, entertaining, he's auditioning uh, applicants um, for people basically to be his eyes and ears on the floor, in the, particularly in the ladies' chambers, so he can know all the, the, um, the goings on at Downton Abbey, so he can use it to his own advantage. So he, he isn't humbled by what happened to him last series at all, he should be, but he isn't. Um, and I think it's run by boredom, I just think he's trying to make his mundane life more exciting by finding out the gossip, seeing who he can pit against. Pits against each other, twisting people's lives, just trying to, just generally trying to destroy mankind. So watch <laughs> out then. <laughs> yeah, so watch out. If you like the destruction of mankind, it's the show for you.